As we've been telling you, it's Class Act Friday. This morning, we are highlighting a school that has been through a lot in the last few years. But now they are back and stronger than ever. Chris Raggy is live at Creskill Middle School and High School. Good morning, Chris. Ladies, good morning. It has been a great morning so far. As we know, this is a great comeback story here at Creskill. COVID was a disaster for all of us. But as adults, you know, we roll through the punches. It's our kids that we worry about 24-7. Here at Cresco Middle School and High School, they were shut down for two and a half years with COVID and then Tropical Storm Ida, which decimated this school. But they're back now and they're thriving. They're excited to be here. Look, the basketball team right behind me, they won a sectional title this past year. And the kids are back, they're laughing, they're together, they're dancing and having a great time like most middle school and high school kids should. So everybody said you're the best guy to interview around here. So why? Why is that? I'm the best dancer here. Is that right? 100%. Very confident. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. I love Steven's approach, and I knew we were in for a great night. These kids have come a long way since August 26th of 2021, the day the music stopped. The band's instruments were destroyed. The stage submerged. The disappointment was heartbreaking. COVID, then the flooding. I wanted to go watch it the last time but never got the chance to. I was sick and I really wanted to be a part of this and I had to wait a whole two years, yeah. but we're finally here. The students were spectacular. The mirror ball trophy on display and up for grabs. How excited are you and everybody else for tonight? Oh, we're ecstatic. We're ecstatic to just be here dancing. Very happy. Steven was the odds on favorite, but don't tell that to Abigail Green. Honestly, it was friendly until tonight, but now it's kind of gone a little more intense. If you had to pick your number one dance routine, what would it be? What are you best at? Um, I'd say the salsa, because me and Steven, we have our routine down, and yep. I feel like we're, we perfected it. <laughs> I'm really excited, but I also really want to win. We're so really excited. excited. <laughs> we're the only girl-girl couple here, yep. so yeah. we know we're going to blow everyone away. It was truly a spectacular showing, all for a great cause. From the students who had been forced to practice in parking lots for years when they had no school at their disposal, to strutting their stuff to a packed gymnasium. I think just every day in gym class when Ms. Moeller teaching us and, you know, getting us, like, prepared for this dance, it's like, you know, it's like muscle memory now. More like a fond memory on what's been a tough three years here at Creskill. It was awful. Like, yeah, it, like my grades were plummeting and like everything. But just being back for my final year of high school and like having one normal year because I had three bad years. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I was like so happy this year. So much better. It's so great to see smiling faces on those kids, to see all these kids up here early. Barbara Muller with us right now, the director of the Dancing with the Stars Night, which is a great charity benefit for this school, phys ed teacher here. Um, and the woman who contacted us about Creskill being a class act, and, and every one of you uh, truly is here. What's it like to see you know these kids? You know, I know you had to resort to parking lot dancing parking for a lot while, dance. but now you guys are back. Yeah, the beauty of the parking lot was there were lines for us to line up with. Um, yeah, it was great. We, um, you know, they had previously been just walking laps around the school, and I thought, yeah. let me bring out a boombox and see what we can do. And there were times there were 65 kids in those classes, yeah. um, and I was surprised this year when we started to teach that the um, kids knew a lot, and they were like, we had it last year in the parking lot. Yeah, had to improvise, right? Oh, we improvised. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job of it. Uh, Angelina Dodo, our champion, the Mirrorball Trophy. We saw a video of you dancing. Um, were you nervous at all, or did you basically know that you had this thing from the get-go? You sounded confident when we interviewed you before. I mean, uh, first going into it, I was a little nervous, but once we got out there and we started dancing, I mean, all the nerves went away, and it was actually a really great time, and I'm really happy I did it. One of the things that you and I talked about the other night is the fact that you guys are back here in the high school. you got to cram in a lot of events, sports, this dancing benefit, everything, just to try to really get the, the fullest out of your high school experience. Has that made it a little better or a little tougher to, to organize your calendar because there is so much to do? I mean, I'm just so happy that we're back. Like, even it, though it could get busy sometimes with sports and, you know, doing Dance with the Stars, I mean, it's worth it to have a normal senior year after, you know, being all over the place since freshman year. Yeah. All right, I want to scoot over to this side here. I, I've got your dad, Mike Dodo, here, who is a teacher here and a uh, a, a famous graduate of this school. Oh, the athlete is, uh, is on the wall outside uh, by the trophy case. Mike, let me ask you as a dad, um, with what your daughter had to go through, all these kids had to go through from being locked out for COVID and then all of a sudden the tropical storm, two and a half years of their high school lives basically were remote. 
Yeah, it was a very difficult time, um, but all of our students persevered. It was great to see them when they came back to school, their smiley faces this year. Um, for me, my children, what they had to go through with the school last year was tough. I had a junior and a sophomore in high school. So we, we made it through, though, and now we're here, and everything is going great. We had a great year this year and looking to finish up strong. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, and again, congratulations to everybody for not only being back at school, being back with your friends, being here with us this morning on this Class Act Friday. And we'll be right back with plenty more right after this.